Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Hope you all doing well. Uh, I had a couple of you ask me about um, how to play Hito. Um, to some people, it's kind of straightforward, but you can also get kind of kind of crazy with them, right? I'll try to do it real quick. Um, we'll do a match after this, but uh, so basically, the meat and potatoes about Hito Kiri is you want to get in your chain, and with Hito Kiri, he's got an infinite chain um, up until a certain point. Uh, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. Uh, obviously, Hito's got his, his basic lights, just light light. I'll turn the uh, bot settings on here, I think, to healing? This way? Off. Got it, got it. I'll probably put mine on off as well. So he's got his light light, chain ends. However, if you do uh, light to heavy, you can just keep spamming heavy, you go right into it, right? Or you can initiate it by starting with a heavy. Heavy, and going to there. And just keep going with that. Now, what's special with Hito Kiri is that in those heavies, if he can get into that chain, the meat and potatoes, you see a little white flash, and that's his uh, hyper armor. So I don't have the bot set to attack, but if he, say if the bot did attack, uh, he would try to hit me. Um, or maybe like an external player in 4v4, so you got somebody to your left and your right, and they're trying to beat you up, and you're trying to focus on a guy. If you're in this, you just keep spamming it. Uh, chances are... Um, they're going to hit you, you're just going to tank it. You're just going to keep going through. That's what that uh, white flash means right there. So if they hit you, you're just going to punch right through. You're, just, you're still going to take the damage that they throw at you. But uh, your attacks will still follow through. So it's pretty much an unstoppable force. And um, he's got a kick and a sweep, but I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute or two. Um, he's got his basic zone, which also goes into the uh, heavies. Like I said earlier, if you hit that light, that's a finisher light, and my chain ends. Which means you got to start back from... Uh, from neutral and uh, figure out how to get back in your chain when you're fighting an opponent and uh, When you start off with the opener heavy you can't do with a light and once you hit the light That's it right there. But instead you start off with a heavy just click right there if You hold it down you do a charge up which you can also faint You know guard break him and do a bunch of other stuff like that which off of a uh, guard break You do get a he uh, heavy goes right back into the chains You can delay uh, your heavies uh, a little bit so I don't have to charge it up all the way and that goes for the same thing so instead of me just instantly launching it I can delay it well that's max delay which is the unblockable um, but if I just a little bit it's not unblockable but uh, it's a little bit slower and that'll kind of throw off the timing for your uh, opponent if he tries to parry you a lot which is kind of the reason why it's a little scary to parry uh, Hidokiri and the same thing with Shigoki although Hidokiri is a little bit different because you could even delay your heavies in your chain, which is pretty good. Or you can go all the way in your chain. So instead of spamming it real quick, kind of time a little different. If I hold it too long, I go back in that unblockable. And that unblockable, um, even when you start it from neutral here, that's going to end your chain. So that means uh, I could do like fast, I can slow it down a little bit, throw off the timing, someone's trying to pair me, or just let it go fully charged. And same thing in the end of that chain, that fully charged is unblockable, which you can also faint, throw them at a wall, um, just heavy them again. And uh, if, if you figure out that that's not working for you, um, your guard break button, the same button that you would use to do something like, you know, that on somebody, as long as you're in the chain, I'm doing it right here, and then I hit that button, my guard break, I'll do a kick. Off of that kick, I get a free heavy, and I keep going back into my chain. Do another kick, it gives a free heavy. But if they dodge that first kick right there, you can actually hold it down and do a sweep. However, when you do the heavy here, uh, you can also just keep going right back into there. Same thing. Once you go in that unblockable, you have finish your light. It's all done. It stops right there. Uh, and the sweep is pretty good to knock down people. So if you're playing in Dominion, you knock someone over, you can get that hit. And if it's timed right, you can get something like Jorman Gunner with the hammer. You can hammer slam them. Uh, you get your teammates are just absolutely um, slaying that person on the ground. Granted, it's going to give them uh, a lot of revenge. So be careful with that. But you can just keep holding it down. Hold it down right here. But if I tap it, then I'll just go back into a kick. Uh, which also is, uh, you could just do those if you're trying out Hidokiri for the first time. Just to be safe. But as you get into a high level play, or you know, wherever really, you can also faint the, uh, the kick. I'm going to do heavy and I'll do it right here. I'll faint it. I'll faint that right there. Or I could delay it all the way. Right before you seem like uh, you're going to do the sweep here. If I do it here, I delay it and then I faint. I can faint really late 
into that sweep. And that's uh that's pretty good to like bait out a dodge attack or something like that. Um it's pretty good. I don't know how to set up the bot to do all that kind of crazy stuff, but uh, just trust me, bro, you know. Source, trust me. Um and I think one other thing is that um I might forget a thing or two, so forgive me. But uh Hidokiri has some good dodge attacks. Um they don't do a whole lot of damage, I think. I think it does like fourteen. Probably could turn the uh health off here. Yeah, it does 14, but even if they block it, um, still go back in your chain. You do heavies, you can delay them, you can go into your kick, you can go into a sweep, you can end it within a block pool. It's just a never-ending um, best of uh, good chains that are pretty good in uh, duels. They can throw your opponent off in duels somewhat, uh, but in Dominion, I think that, that shows pretty good as well. That's the wrong one. Um, but you might not always find it that easy. So you just got to adapt to a play style that uh, you think your opponent might suffer from a little bit. So you can go into the zone and whatnot, and it all just kind of circles back around. So, I mean, in theory, yes, you could hit a bunch of buttons with Hidokiri, and you, you may do pretty good, you know? But uh, I guess you just have to try it out and experience it for yourself. You could always go into training and try them out before you go into a real match, which is also uh, possible. Now, if you do do the uh, dodge attack, while it is pretty good, and if they block it, you can keep going to chain. If they parry that, that's considered a light parry now. I mean, it's been in the game like that for a few months so far. And it's a little a little bit of a risk. So if I dodge attack and he pairs me, he gets a heavy on me, and then um, it's his turn. Because he might be in his chain, if it's another huge cure, I'm saying. Uh, if, he parries my, if he parries this, then he gets a heavy on me, then he goes in his chain, and it's pretty much just on you to make the right read. On the right move to uh, get back into yours. So uh, with that being said, we're gonna try to get a bit into uh, Hito Kiri action. Um, if I miss something, let me know. Um, I'll definitely take a look at it. But yeah, let's uh, let's try and some uh, brawls. All right. So we are in a brawl with some pretty high rep uh, people. A warmonger and a reward. Oh, just kind of gave me a freebie there. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, he messed it up. We'll try to get in our chain here. Give him some fast heavies, see how this goes. Maybe delay it. Charge it up. Faint it. That is stamina. Bummer. Oh, nice. Where's the dodge attack? Ooh. Oh man. Oh, he didn't die. Let me ready. That's nah, alright. We'll take it. Oh, where you got it, bro? Ooh. And she got the XE2. We'll try to manage. Uh oh. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, God. Sweep me off my feet. Now, with some of the characters like Warmonger, she's got a, a certain bash in particular, or not a bash, it's a dodge attack where she does the unblockable. And uh, that's got a lot of uh, iframes. And basically, the iframes is like a uh, part of the moveset where it's considered the dodge, so you can't touch her. Ooh, look at that trade. Nice. Go for the sweep. Oh, we caught her there. For another sweep. Ooh. Go for another one? No way. We'll go for a kick right here. Oh, but I didn't have the stand to do it. Light me. Oh, nice. Light me right here. Oh. Oh, my God. Baited me up with a raw heavy. I would have had it if I didn't go out of stamp. Such a goober. But you guys see what I mean, for the most part. Um, I was actually surprised that my sweeps were catching her during that dodge attack that she was doing. Because those, I mean, like I said, for the most part, it's, uh, it's got a lot of iframes in there. But, zone? Oh, nice. Caught him with that one.
Look at that trade. Uh oh. Not good. Ooh. My brother gonna go to Stam? Oh no. Oh, that dodge attack caught him. 14 damage, but it's a risk. I don't know if they've parried my dodge attack yet. But, uh, like I said, if I did that again. Oh no, yeah, the war market appeared earlier. And so she got a heavy off of it. It's kind of crazy, but. Oh, nice. Ooh, not good. Light me. Ooh. Holy crap, she like double dodged that. She's nuts. Uh oh. Kinda not what I meant to do. I think I'm gonna pay the price for it. Yeah! Oh my god! I felt that in my bones. But uh, yeah, just don't do what I did, where I pretty much died. But hopefully, I made you guys a better Hidokiri. Hopefully. Good fight.